Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to this episode of Tech Stuff. Today we have with us the new Roborock S6 Max 5. They are first robot vacuum equipped with both LiDAR sensors and stereo cameras, making it better at intelligent obstacle avoidance and more accurate room mapping and navigation. It features a high vacuum suction power of 2500 PA and a smart mopping add-on attachment. Before we get started with this video, I'd like to thank Roborock for sending this unit out to me. All the product links will be in the descriptions below. To start off, here's what we get in the package. The vacuum unit itself, a spare filter, a mop attachment, a charging dock, and of course, some startup manuals. Now, the thing that makes this robot vacuum stand out from the rest of the other vacuums out there is that it comes with these two stereo cameras. Now these dual front-facing cameras allow the vacuum better depth perception to accurately estimate the location and the size of the obstacle to best avoid it. This is a new feature that is combined with the typical LiDAR navigation sensors. Now the cameras are also used to capture images of the obstacles in order to report back to you. Apart from that, the camera can also be used as a monitoring device allowing you to see the vacuum's live view through the app. Now I know some of you might have some privacy concerns when it comes to having a robot with a live camera that's moving around your home freely. However, Roborock is TUV certified as a safe smart home product and every image or video that is captured is instantly deleted and never stored, duplicated or uploaded to any cloud storage devices. The vacuum also announces every time the camera view is live. Remote viewing active. Now the great thing about this live view feature is that you are able to monitor the vacuum's route via your phone app even when you're not at home. This is great for those of you who have more cluttered homes who are afraid that the vacuum might get stuck at certain corners. This live view is exceptionally great for monitoring that. Now another interesting thing that you can do with this live view feature is that you can leave voice messages and play it live from the robot. Now this could be especially good if you want to talk to someone who's at home or even talk to your pets. Now of course, one of the main things that we want to take a look at is how well the obstacle avoidance is for these vacuum cleaners. Now of course, each vacuum cleaner and model out there have different algorithms and different systems to detect these obstacles. But for the Roborod vacuum cleaner, I can pretty much say that it does well around obstacles. Especially in tight spaces like under tables and under chairs, it's doing pretty well. Occasionally, it will come across a certain rag or certain pet toy that I have on the ground and it will just kind of move it to a side. It knows it's there but sometimes it might be a bit too light for it to detect it as an obstacle. Now one of the things that it did get stuck with is this little spiky mat thing that I have lying around at home. These were pretty much to prevent my dogs from peeing on certain corners of the furniture. Now it's pretty funny to see it getting stuck on one of these things but of course no product is perfect and of course there are some limitations to what it can avoid. Now as for the pet detection, um, it doesn't really avoid my pets that much. Sometimes it does and sometimes it just goes right through them and my dogs have to move aside. So this is something you might want to look out. I don't know if it's the color of my pets or something else but yeah, it's a kind of hit and miss for this feature. As for the detection of smaller objects, Roborock has specced that it can detect objects up to 5cm wide by 3cm tall. So I used my AirPods as an example and the Roborock pretty much went around it. So that was pretty impressive for an object that was that small. So with the app, it's very intuitive and very easy to use. You can firstly select options to either vacuum the entire area or to select specific zones. You can also select no-go zones for your vacuum to prevent it from going into places you don't want it to go to. Now the next big question is of course how well does it actually clean? Now that it's done with all the obstacle avoidance, we actually want to get down to business and see how it functions. The great thing about the app is that you can select 3 different modes of the vacuum's power. In my opinion, the lowest power is enough to suck up basic dust and fur particles but if you want anything more like larger potato chips, you might want to use the maximum power. As for the mopping feature, you are also able to select 3 different power options of how well the water flows out. I realized that the first two didn't really give much effect and only left a couple of streaks of water on the floor, whereas the maximum water flow actually resembled somewhat of a mopped floor. Now speaking of the mopping feature, I haven't really gotten into it and it's a pretty cool feature. To set it up, you simply fill up the water tank that is attached to it. 
and snap on the mopping attachment. Once the mopping attachment is snapped onto the vacuum, the app automatically detects it and allows you to start mopping along with your vacuum. So to sum up this whole video, I think this is a very innovative product that I think many of you will love. Having a live view camera really gives you a peace of mind when you're off to work and your vacuum is vacuuming at home alone. It also helps with obstacle detection and reports back to you whenever it detects an obstacle. So all this technology that's added into vacuum cleaners only means that it's getting smarter as each generation goes. If you guys want to know more about the detailed specs, do visit the Roborock website and find out for yourself. If not, if you guys have any other questions, do leave them in the comments below. I'll try my best to answer them. I'm no vacuum expert. You can actually check out my friend's channel, Mats. She does a lot of these vacuum cleaner reviews and she's really an expert in it. But with that said and done, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and found it informative. Do give it a like if you like this video, subscribe if you haven't. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.